number one thing is to recognize that that you do have all these qualities and beauty and love and not falling into this place of judging ourselves and comparing ourselves to other people and ultimately put ourselves down and going into this place of hating ourselves and not loving ourselves. So recognizing who you are so you don't fall into that trap. But then on the other hand, it could be the other other part of too much falling in love with our ego as me as being separated from the ultimate and the source and and then going into this false sense of loving myself in a narcissistic way so there's there is a this middle path of recognition of recognizing your divinity and recognizing who you are recognizing that you're connected you're one and you're part of the grand the, the supreme soul and the grand spirit and you do carry all the qualities of the divine being but also seeing that light in everything and everyone else recognizing that and i'm very much sure you're capable of doing it i'm very much sure that you have the wisdom to accomplish this and to recognize that because you have the intelligence you're wise and a part of doing that is a is to learn meditation to be quiet to have to cultivate this um, quality of self-observation not self-judgment but self-observation of being able to come outside of yourself and observe yourself as you observe other things and B is to continuously always come back in this place of love, of recognition of the love that is here. The love that you have access to. And sometimes it gets very enhanced because you connect with another human being and you meet someone and you love them. Uh, and then the love which exists within yourself gets really enhanced or the love you have for your kids or your parents and when you come across this powerful enhanced love know that this love is coming from you know that you're the source of it you're the source of love and in recognition that you are the source of love, you begin to realize that it's not a conditional type of a thing. It cannot be taken away from you. It's always here. And the more you recognize it, the more animated it gets, the more powerful it becomes, and the more you're capable of giving it. And it flows even stronger by being able to share your love with other people but first is you have to go beyond this self-judgment you have to go beyond this self-hate and not judging yourself by simply coming back to this one point and meditation helps that and coming to satsang coming together into the unified field that we do helps that it brings you back it sends you back home again and as you do this fear disappears you go beyond the fear you go beyond the worries you go beyond the anxiety 
you come back home into this present moment, into this place. Your attention comes back inwards. And then you remember who you are. And if you don't believe it, then look at your own qualities. Look at the things you're capable of doing. Whatever is your talent, different talents that you have. Whether, you know, some of us think like, okay, I have all these talents, but they don't translate in making money. But that's not the point. Or it doesn't translate in accomplishments in life. That's not the point either. It's the recognition of the talents you have. Take your time and take a look of the talents you have, of the things you can do, whether you're cooking, whether you're sewing something, whether you're making music, or you're cutting hair, or you're a nurse, or you're a teacher. Or whatever, you have a talent with putting colors together, decorating, fashion, the way you decorate yourself, the way you put your own makeup on your face. Whatever talents, you have talents. You're capable of creating. I would like you to pay attention to that. Pay attention on your own qualities, good qualities, the things you're able to do and share with other people. Take a look at it. And I guarantee you, if you look at it, you're gonna find so many different amazing things about yourself. So many different things. And it will bring a smile on your face. It will bring a smile on your face. Because sometimes we fall into this routine life and everything gets repeated and repeated and we forget. We forget about the magic that you bring to life. Your magic. And it just goes through every facet, every area of your life. If you pay attention, you do matter, you have an impact, you have an impact in your surrounding, you have an impact on your family and friends. And even if you call a friend, simple phone call, ask him, and you're sincere in asking him, how are you doing, my friend? How are you? I have been thinking about you. So happy to hear your voice. And just that simple gesture, if it's coming from your heart, it has an impact on somebody you care for. And that changes things for them and it brings them love. Because in that moment, you sincerely share your love with somebody you care for. And that changes them and you have that ability but you start with yourself you begin to see your own great qualities and you love yourself for that you love yourself instead of judging yourself instead of beating yourself up because you didn't go to the gym, because you're not losing weight, because you're not uh, saving money, because blah, blah, blah. You put, put that away and you'll always come back, come back here in this moment.